what's going on guys this is always back with another tutorial I'm gonna cover a few topics in this video I'm gonna cover the whole chapter regarding blocks so in this video I will talk about creating and inserting blocks using by and by block object properties redefining blocks exploiting objects with explode and export command dynamic um, designing a dynamic block accessing external block content redefining local blocks with global blocks so let's have a look how can we make a block first so on the ribbon i've got this block panel there i've got a command insert block create block block editor and a single which edits attributes in a block reference okay so now let's have a look how can we make a block so i'll zoom in and i want to make a block of this chair so click on this dialog box you get this um click its uh, command you get this dialog box and every block need a name so i type the name chair two chair and maybe type sofa and then you can specify a base point on a screen or you can pick a point as well and you can type the values as well so i'll go and pick a point and i want to pick up this point it's very important that which point you pick because at the time you're inserting those blocks then you gotta your grouping point would be that point the one you pick right now so i'll select this and as you can see that it's telling the x and y value as well and now i can select the object as well which is my block so as you can see i got no preview here so once i click this button and i go and select this and i press spacebar as you can see i've got the preview of the block now so it's telling me you can retain that you can convert to block and you can delete that and then make that as a block I can got two options here so I'll code that later so make sure that your block units are inches and I click OK so now if I click here now it's got a block now I've got a block here so now I delete that for now and what I do I'm gonna go ahead and insert that block so now I'll click on this insert command and now in there you see all the blocks in your drawing so I go all the way down and as you can see that I've got this sofa block there which I just made so I click here and as you can see that I got the block but I have to specify insertion point and as you can see that my grouping point is where I selected the when I was making a block so it's very important at which point you select and I click here as you can see now my blocks are there so press spacebar again and then you can type a name or uh, you know the previous use block was so far so the name was already there if you press spacebar again a right click then you can get the so far again and now i'll click and as you can see that i can even give the scale factor as well so i'll cover that in in a few seconds okay so now let's have a look a few more features of inserting blocks okay if you click on this arrow button you get this um drop down menu which gives you a different kind of colors of the blocks i'll discuss that uh, that's basically inheritance i'll cover that in a moment so but have a look at this if i click on this more option and now i get this dialog box the shortcut key for that is will i'll go click this i cancel and i'll try i press spacebar and you get the same dialog box okay so here we got a few more options now let's say i can insertion points specify on the screen that's fine or i can do type of values as well scale factor i can specify on screen or i can give that value as well okay so the rotation on screen i'm gonna go and check that and i'll click ok and now i've got this block there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just drop it in the middle and as you can see that i've got the rotation now i can even try the angle because my auto is on i can now um, make a rotation for this block so this is very useful with typing I we get four more options okay guys so far we have learned how to create and insert blocks so now I'm going to show you a few more things if you double click on your block you get this added block definition dialog box click OK and then now you are in the editor block editor um, workspace I guess so you got all these new options here you got a new palette which are basically used in when you're making a dynamic block but now this is that's it so i'll cover a few of these options in a minute so you can even check your dimension of your block align linear you can show some objects or hide them there's a few more options edit block save block and now i'm gonna go and close this for now and then it's gonna ask me if it's if i made any changes let's say if i make any changes let's say i will 
turn this off, alright? Uh, maybe I can just get that, or I can just change this to under the layer. Let's say I will stretch, pull a stretch. Maybe a pick a point. And now if I close this, it's going to ask me if I want to save this or discard this. For now, I just discard this. So now uh, we look at how to redefine blocks. Alright, so now what I want to do, I want to copy this about one, two, three, and I want to mirror them at the that point. All right. So now I'm going to show you how you can redefine block. So let's say you, I want this block. So all these blocks are referenced by one block. So I double click on this one and I click OK. And now I'll select this arc and I change that to this. Okay. So now I'll close that and I'll save this changes to so far. As you can see that the reason why all the blocks are referencing to one block, that's why they all updated. They all updated to the arc. So that's how you can um, make changes to because anytime you make changes to one block, it's going to update the rest of the block which are referenced by that block. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'll show you another example, the power of the block. So. Now I'll come here, as you can see this is not the part of the block, even though that looks like the same shape as we have on the right there. So what I want to do, I want to make a bit of, I'll delete this line, I'll delete this line. And what I do now, I'm going to chamfer that, maybe delete this arc. And just change that to make that a line. Okay, so get rid of stuff here. All right, and then just mirror that to from the midpoint to that point. Draw another line here. And just for the reference, I just want to draw a line here. And I'll copy that one, two, three, four. All right, so that's the new chair we got. So what I want to do, I want to make another block. So type B, press spacebar, and now the name we have on the previous block was sofa. So I type sofa, and now I'll pick a point. So as I remember that the pick point was about here for the previous block, so I click that, it gives me the coordinate values on X and Y axis and now I can specify object, I'll select this object, right click and then I'll delete this object. Instead of converting to block, I'm going to delete this. So that will still make a block but it will delete this uh, object, so I'll click OK. And now I get these options here, redefine the block, I don't redefine. The reason why we had a sofa uh, block before so it's asking me if it wants to redefine so I'll click on redefine block and it deleted that chair but let's go to right so what happens here as you can see the power of the block is it's all been updated the name basically because of the name same name it updated all the blocks so that's how you can redefine blocks okay now we're gonna look at two different methods of for exploding blocks all right, let's have a look how can we explore, but let me explain first. What I want to do, I want to um, keep these two chairs the way they are, but I want to change this, um, these all four and four eight layer air chairs to without this arm resting. So what I can do, I can explore this block. So I'll type X E explode, or you can type, I can click um, this explode command. I click on this object and select that. And then, as you can see that, they have been exploded now. Okay, so once they have been exploded, there's another command called explode. E, not for E, but X, P, L, O, D. That's a bit old command, but does the same thing. And 
Okay, so now these two chains are basically unique. They are not part of the block anymore. So what I can do, I can just double click to any block and click OK. And now what I want to do, I want to just get rid of this arm resting. And just make another line here. Change that to... Okay, so now I close block editor and I save. So as you can see that by exploiting few objects from the block, I could keep those shades the way they were and then now I've got new block with a new style of the shade without arm resting. So this is how you can use explore command and redefine your block. In the next video I'm going to discuss dynamic block, so make sure to check that out as well. Alright, for now, peace out, take care and uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.